photos to your shiny project both in the side panel and in the fluid so you've got your project you want to add some photos you're gonna start with this so I did under the fluid page which is that first big one of the three different flowers um, H6 which is going to be your diagram of a flower you can call this whatever you want it to be called that is popping up right here so you can you can call it whatever you want right um, make sure you put a comma after that and then we're going to get into the images so you're going to put tags dollar sign img this whole code this line right here go ahead and copy that down um, this right here, you don't, this green, you don't need to copy this right now. You can just put whatever you want in there. You can put image name goes here, whatever, just kind of some placeholder there for the moment. So once you've got that done, make sure you end it with a comma. Pull up Google, um, look at whatever you want, choose the photo you want for your project. Make sure you copy the URL and put the UR at the bottom with the pound signs there um, so that you're giving photo credit but is not going to mess up your code. So once you have it saved, save it to downloads. That's the easiest place to do it. Um, you can go to downloads and you're going to see, okay, like these are some of the ones I did, right? You're going to click on it. You're going to copy it to your clipboard. Once you have a copy to your clipboard, you're going to go into your project. And then within your project, you're going to find that particular folder that you're using. So you can see I tried my final over and over. Please don't laugh at me too hard. Um, so this is my final final, the last one. Um, this is that script right there. So you're going to make a new folder and call it www. Okay, so then within that folder, you're going to paste the photos that you want in there. Um, if they have a super long name, you can change the name to something a little bit easier if you want. But um, once you got them pasted in there, you're going to click and then you're going to pause and then you're going to click again, right? And then you're going to highlight the whole thing. Copy that and you're going to paste it right there, right where you have that placeholder. You're going to paste it right there. Okay. So then that will give you this photo, right? And it's a little skewed unless I go full screen, then it, it's better. If you wanna mess with the size or if like mine is a rectangle and not like a square, so I had to kind of play around with the measurements so it didn't look too skewed. Let me show you what that looks like. So I had height 550 with 700, but if you wanted to do like this for instance, you don't want it so big, you want a little smaller. There you go, just play around with the numbers. As you can see, that made it super small, right? Um, so just play around with those numbers. And then in order to put it in the sidebar, it's basically the same thing. So just copy the H6 to here, unless you don't wanna label it. I didn't label my second one because it was just kind of a pretty drawing, you know, um, for decoration. But here, here's that tags, right? Same exact thing, except you're going to copy and paste the new name, right? That new name. Right? So this is the drawing one. That exact name is going right here. And then that one I wanted smaller, so I change the height and width to be smaller. And you can do whatever you want. You can add a title if you want, which is that H6 right here. Um, but otherwise, that's how you do it. Really simple. You just got to make sure you save it in that www folder that is in the folder that is in the project. Once you got that down, you can add as many photos as you, as you want and just play around with the sizes until you get it right. Make sure you give credit. And that is how you add photos.